All right, this is some podcast. Wholesome B. Mitch, a.k.a. Podcast Poppy. Y'all know the rest. <coughs> Little Trey in the building. He a funny. He stay trying me. How? You just try me. It don't matter, though. By calling you Little Trey? <laughs> Big trade, big trade in the building. <laughs> big big trade, 30, big I'm big dance. 30, I'm 30 now, you feel me? Just come big 30. All right. We got Queen here for the one time. Maybe twice. Uh, maybe twice. Depends maybe how twice. this one goes. It better be fire. <laughs> but before we start, check us out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube. Check our IG out and Twitter. Like, comment, share. Let your friends know. Let them know what's good. Yes, please. So today what I want to know is... So we've all dated more than one person throughout life, right? I want to know, how do y'all think y'all have affected somebody, like, mentally or emotionally, like, as you've dated them? Like, in the past, present, whatever. Like, you think, like, you've possibly caused some insecurities, anything like that before? Absolutely. I've caused some issues on accident. Like, what Like what? What are some of the things that y'all think y'all may have caused? And... This this part neither here or there, but you know I got discrepancies on the word dating and shit. But that neither here or there. But I don't dealt with people and shit. And um, I mean I just even though I told them what it was, they liked me a lot and got very angry because you know never made them my girlfriend and shit. Uh, one girl. Uh, this is a funny story, and I ain't gonna say the whole story, but got so <laughs> mad at me. Not you, but I uh, started fucking with one of my cousins. You know, <laughs> my cousin started. We, he told me, I like, nigga, do you? Because I ain't really like her in the first place. Like that. She, she had to cool. get, get back. Yeah. <laughs> and there's another funny story. Like, it had nothing to do with anything. Just to the fact that nigga told me this shit like a month ago. <laughs> he was like, man, he, he, he hopped in her friend IG and shit, right? But she been stopped fucking with him too, because he like me, wasn't shit. So, um,. Yeah, he hopped in a friend IG. The friend must have told her. So she unblocked him to cuss him out and block him again. They're like, oh, you talking to my friend. But I'm like, why you ain't tell her, bitch? You fucking with cousins. Right. Like, how you going to be mad at that? Yeah. Like, it, that just, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, it was crazy. The nerve. Yeah, the nerve. But I ain't give a fuck because I ain't. Like, she was cool. She was nice. She was very, a great person. Just not a person I want to be in a relationship with. But she was never happy with me after a situation like that. Well, I don't break them off so up abruptly, but I've broken a lot of hearts. Mm. I have, and I, sometimes I feel like really guilty about it. Like there's just certain relationships I'm just like I can't even do this anymore, and I know that I'm gonna like hurt their feelings. But just because you can't do it, you like, gotta go. You gonna hurt their feelings? Just like what do you mean hurt their feelings? What are you doing I, to hurt their feelings? Just Breaking leaving them. Just enough, just like, leave. No. Yes, it is. Like when I start like talking to somebody, they immediately just think that I'm like already their girlfriend, <laughs> and that I'm already their. That might be a mental. Dis- that might be a mental disorder. It was already okay. off. Yeah. Well, it's very com- a common mental disorder. Anyway. I can't relate. <laughs> can't relate. But no, they they be getting crazy. They get crazy when I'm like, yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. Time to move on, mm. and then they they don't want to move on, or they like feel like I'm dissing them because it's me wanting to move on, and not them wanting to move on. Right. You grew apart from the nigga. It's okay. I mean, that's not really you. That's to me. That sound like they own stuff that they they own the securities they already got. You ain't really enhancing nothing. Like you're not doing nothing wrong technically. I know, but <clears throat> that, that don't mean that I don't affect them. And that no, they it. already had yeah, that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and you feel me? That way people get shit fucked up with the dating scene. Dating ain't it's not like, oh shit, we just together dating forever. Dating is I'm testing out the waters, you ain't working for me, uh, I'm moving on to another that's, in your case, nigga. Yeah, like it's, it's, it's all a test run. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Trial and error. That's you are an error, is. nigga, so I'm gonna move I to the other. I attract a lot of guys who think that I am their wife as soon as we start just talking. That's not how that works. Yeah, that's I'm, sick. I would <laughs> <laughs> that's I would love it. for yeah, someone to be on the same page as me. That's great. <laughs> that's that's super. Yeah. That's super. Like they got other stuff going on. That makes no sense. Yeah. And anybody, when you just start first talking to somebody, you ain't drop all your other people you were talking right. with. So like, people it just it's selfish in that way. Cause I understand it's totally okay. Like multiple motherfuckers and shit, but don't just. Be selfish and be like, oh no, you mind, woo woo woo, all that shit. Like, 
Yeah, you can't tell somebody that they're yours. Yeah, they have right. to agree to Spe- it. Yeah, especially first Ooh. fucking quarter. Well, you all heard it. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's that's insane. <laughs> but no, I mean, I don't think in either one of them situations, y'all truly caused the trauma. It seemed like these okay, people was already traumatic, and y'all just broke it off, and they it just triggered them. Y'all was triggering, but it ain't really y'all ain't really caused that. <laughs> What do you call? I got a situation where really cost some shit. <laughs> what, I don't know. How, I got more than one. I don't know. How I don't know. Say them. Say them all, cuz. Yeah, give, give us one. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give an example. I don't hear more. No, I got a lot. A lot. Yeah. I was at one point I was a trash individual. You know, when you're under 25, you do a lot of trash stuff. It is what it is. I don't know. You might still be trash. I don't know. Nah, hmm. nah, not at all. I've been out that game for a long time. But an example would be, um, damn, this gonna fuck up. This fucked up one. So an example would be, uh, say. So it's been times where I was maybe dating a girl, whatever. <clears throat> Damn, this is a fucked up one. <laughs> I gotta do it though. Well, so you so you dating a girl and boom, you you get another girl pregnant. Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> this is going real fast. But this, but this, that's fast. gonna cause some trauma. Like this type of trauma I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, that'll cause trauma. Where it's like this, she might not never trust another man ever in her life after this. It's fucked up, but this is real life stuff that happens. Well, I was. Well, however, in my defense, I wasn't in a relationship with either one. It just <laughs> shit happens. A little, uh, shit happens. Uh, it, it, uh, and I, you know, I can go too deep into details, but shit happens. But something like that, where it's like I know I caused some trauma within that. The other girl they talked. This is like six years ago. The other girl they talked to me ever. So wait, since. you were dating both of them? And yeah. So I just, I just go through it. So I was dating one. When we liked each other, she was actually real official. It was somebody that I liked that I possibly got in a relationship with. But mm. she had to go do an internship in a different country. No, you didn't like her enough. Okay. That, I mean, that, no, that, different, that. it was like six months or something like that. Like five, six months. So I had already, this person that was pregnant was already pregnant during that time, right? Um, but I didn't find out until later on while this girl was, was on her internship. That's when I found out. And so by the time she get back... Well, hey, it's a baby. It's a baby <laughs> on the way. So she like, she think we gonna pick up where we left off. I gotta let her know. Like, now nah, I got a baby on the way. Um, she like, nigga, what? Like, I'm going. I guess she expected me to hold it down while she did a bid over overseas, basically, or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> because y'all be expecting women to hold y'all down when y'all be in jail. She went uh, away for six yeah, months, yeah, and you had the audacity yeah. to get someone else pregnant. More the story. Well, don't fuck with niggas in jail. Ooh. I mean, no, I don't do that. But however, but. I mean, it was it was a fumble on my part because I mean she was official, but I know for sure she was then traumatized because she never talked to me again after that. This was like said six years ago. Everybody always talk because I'm a nice person. Usually people talk to me again. She never spoke a word to me again. But that's just one scenario where it's like I know I caused some real trauma. Yeah, I never. I guess I'm the only one out no, here. I mean, real trauma. I, I don't cause trauma, but I ain't gonna go deep in my trauma. Oh but, my yeah, gosh! Yeah, nah, nah. I don't know. Nah, I this, guess. One, this, this, this one I did probably gonna sound too trash. I can't do it. I mean, I got yeah, I got some more trash with Sue. Yeah. I ain't gonna go no, too I'm deep. No, I'm not a trash person. I don't have. So I'm not either. Stories. So like, when it, when it, niggas do Judging trash you guys. shit. No, when niggas do trash shit, it's accidental trash shit. And like, oh, no, no, I done trash stuff on purpose. No, no, my my shit was accidental. Like, oh, I ain't know all that trash. No, I've done it on purpose for no. sure. Hmm. So I'm the only person that's done anything foul on purpose? Uh, no, I'm a, I'm a great guy. Okay, like, I'm really, really big into karma and dharma. Like, you've I do always not, been, though? Yes, I do not put out negative energy at all that I don't want to come back to me. So what no point you, like, 19, 20, 21? Still it, been namaste, baby. I don't know if it, 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 it's, like, <laughs> having sex with best friends, is that trash? Yes. Did they agree to it prior to? Did they know I mean, like one knew I'm talking to the friend, so it was halfway oh it halfway agreed upon. And she okay. knew, man. That's not to me. That's not trash because no. she knew y'all talking. I, didn't, I never did nothing trash in my life. I ain't did nothing trash in my life either because if I did, I wouldn't be saying it right here. No, I guess maybe I. <laughs> no, no, we have trash people here before. It's okay. <laughs> maybe I'm really just was a bad person. I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you was. I, I mean, I mean, I've talked to like guys in the same friend group, but we never would like I've never dated any of them, so. I don't really do trash moves. Damn. Niggas You're t- dirty. So, no, You're dirty. No, so, no. You're both dirty. No, niggas, and a lot of times when that happens, like have my cousin hit me up like, woo, woo. yeah, do that. Most friends know and they're going to tell their friend, yeah, nigga, we don't fuck no more. Do that shit. Nine times out of ten, that would happen. I mean, either way, <laughs> I think if, so say if a girl is doing that, 
um, she should tell the other person like you know I talked to his, your, to so and so before yeah. right. And that, they that, should, like that's yeah. being straightforward. Yeah. That, 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 okay. Whoa. Well, well, yeah, well, yeah. I'm not telling nobody who I'm talking to unless we're official. Like, what am I telling you who I'm talking to? Because if you know they're in the same friend group, you should. That's just polite. Like, don't enter. That's, yeah. Now that's fine yeah. if you yeah, don't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Girls, girls have done that. Like, yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't agree. Because because I've been with some hating ass niggas. Niggas be hating. Who, 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 hate who will mean, purposely try to if I'm not like feeling them the same way as I'm feeling, you know, someone else in their friend group, they're gonna try to do what they can to that's, that's, get they between. Trash too. Which yeah, is they, why yeah, they, I don't yeah. tell nobody. You no. gotta tell them, but they foul for that too. They just Yeah, trash. niggas are trash for that. That's some trash shit. But I've been in it's common courtesy <laughs> for the nigga you dealing with. Yeah, it'd be like I I used to talk to the nigga or whatever. Like just to be, just you don't want a nigga blindsided. If we're starting to get like serious, then yes, I'm going to you know give you some of my dirty laundry, just enough for you and I to be on a trustworthy. But by then it's already late in the game. No, damn, why you ain't been telling me this? Yeah, why you ain't been telling me? I might change. Okay, do you want to break up? I should bitch tell me that right out the out of the gate like that. Just like I gotta rethink everything. Yeah, like yeah. Why did you want to break up? I possibly would. I don't know. And even if we, me, I wouldn't break up, but me being who I am, we never going to get in a relationship at that and point. And that's what uh, a, a podcast previous before this, which I was talking about. You tell me some shit too late in the game, or you don't did some shit, then tell me a little bit afterwards. How do you expect me? Then you didn't love me from the start, and we shouldn't have been in a relationship in the first place. Or you should have told me from the start. Mm, I didn't it, love it you from the start. But oh, you can yeah, still bad. be open, though. You can be open and honest from the gate. <laughs> yeah, that'd be the biggest thing. It you, you really, it's really overshare. situational. I don't know. Yeah. It, it really is. I can't disagree, but I can't agree. But either. I'm not saying you got to be, like, oversharing and give all the scenarios. Yeah. But if I find out some shit later that I feel like I should have been new... I'm judging you. Yes. But no, actually, I've had... Actually, I've had a handful of guys in which I've tried to be like, no, because, you know, your cousin be trying to hit me up. And they be like, I don't give a fuck. I'm not saying you got to say no. What is what does that (laughs) got to do with me? They're always telling me what's that got to do with me. Okay, so what am I wasting my time telling you about it for? Because it's it's the right thing to do. And some niggas might say that because (laughs) niggas going to say that, but they might not mean that. Yeah, that's some. Fact. Yeah, I would assume that's it's fifty fifty. Yeah, it's 50-50. It's definitely fifty fifty. Cause like, like I, said, I wouldn't give a fuck. But like niggas, like women came back to me. Oh, woo, woo, woo. oh, this nigga actually do care. Woo, woo, woo. I'm like, I would be open to being more open in the beginning towards someone whom I really saw a future with. But mm. because I rarely see or feel that way, I just can't rationalize. I mean, no, that. no, that's understandable, <laughs> but it's just the fact, and it is, and it's, that part is hard to maneuver around and shit because the fact that you never know, but most things happen on some accidental, never yeah. know basis. Shit yeah. just organically happen. But yeah, but no, to, to her point though, it is a time where it's too early. Like I had a chick tell me that off the, like I DM'd her one time, Next DM, she's like, oh, I, I talked to your cousin. Just FYI. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bitch, all I said yeah. was hello. Yeah, Why fact, you me yeah, that? Yeah, he did. He did tell me that. He like, I ain't even shoot a shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did tell me that. <laughs> like, huh? Like, relax. And, like, it, we met her wasn't even that DJ. Oh, we hung out a couple times. But it still was like, why are you telling me this? I didn't even say nothing yet. Like, I didn't even get a chance to shoot to my shot. She wanted to be and honest. But I didn't even shoot a shot yet. Like, at least give me a chance to at least... What, what were the first DM you said? Hello? I don't even know. Uh, no, I probably went hello, actually. But. <laughs> Maybe that was her thinking you were shooting the shot. Maybe that's what she's used to. Maybe, but just because somebody's sliding in DM don't mean they're always shooting a shot, too. Facts. That's a major fact. Like, <laughs> Tell them again. No, for real. Like, people don't be realizing that. Because I'll be sliding in DMs and I don't be shooting. I just be... I just want to have a like, I'm just sliding just to say something. Like, just to say something. First of all, I got a podcast that's public. I got to be mixing yeah. and mingling. Like... I'm not always shooting a shot, but sometimes no. it might be. But it's a different, it's a different DM. Network is key. Yeah, it's a different DM. It's a different slide. Um, that mad funny. I'm gonna lie. I don't know. Yikes. But what are y'all thoughts? Y'all know they coming out with the new um, male birth control. What y'all think about that? Amen. No, I'm not taking that bullshit. Why? I don't want to be like y'all women with all the little and and like. The hormonal imbalance and shit That ain't good for niggas Oh, but it's good for us Hey, y'all used to it, I'm not Oh uh, hmm, that, No, I'm not used to anything God got me, but <laughs> um, <laughs> But so you, you don't, so, you, so you don't want women taking birth control? If, uh, how do you feel about the women that you take birth control? I mean, I know it'd be fucking them up and shit But 
Do you I want prefer, them to take it or no? I prefer them than me. So yeah, take that shit. <laughs> that's crazy. I, I, I wear a condom. Shit. Ooh. That's crazy. I wear a condom, but it ain't like birth control. So for your own pleasure, you won't get on birth control. No. Okay. Nigga. So uh, depending would? on how how do you, how, <laughs> how do you take it? Uh, yeah, give me some of them. How you, no, no, what if they give you like I, I don't a want, shot? I, I don't then, want a shot. Yeah, just a shot. I don't want to do like it. shit like that. I don't like taking like any type of pills. I don't take Advil. Mm-hmm. I don't take Tylenol and shit. I'm not disagreeing with you. Yeah. I don't believe in birth control at all. I, it's not what I'm into. Yeah, I no, think that's it's exactly what, Listen, I'm taking it. Whatever it come out. Sign, well, not whenever, but like yeah. give it a little bit of time, give it a yeah, year or two, sign me up. Yeah, I don't want, the, nigga don't know the side effects. I don't know that shit gonna make a nigga bipolar and shit. Might but make you nigga. know what's gonna change your mind when you have a kid? You gonna have one kid and you're gonna be like, yeah, sign me up. It be, it be scenarios <laughs> that'll make you change your mind. You're right. Ha- do having be. a kid, um, almost having a kid, Oof. them scenarios, yeah, you, I mean. You're gonna be like, yes, yeah, so or, or it, it's okay to wear condoms sometimes. Yeah, but that don't mean you still don't get them scares. Uh, pregnancy, yeah. listen, you have enough pregnancy scares, uh, sign me up for birth control. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no pregnancy scares. Like, just sure. in general, like, pregnancy this shit happens. Scares. It do. It, it happens in life. It happens in but life. But from my perspective, if I'm on birth control, it's impossible. But I think that once males get on birth control, there's going to be a lot more, like, diseases going around because they're going to feel like, oh, I could just hop in here, hop in there, hop in there. Because the only thing they're worried about is protecting themselves from a baby, but they're not protecting themselves from anything else. That's that's, that's 100% what happened. Not, Uh, not. Well, I mean, hopefully it doesn't because hopefully the women are also being responsible and telling dudes to no, still put a condom on. And then they're going to be like, it's cool, babe. I'm on birth control. (laughs) I'm on birth control. You need to put that nigga out. (laughs) You must put that nigga out. But no, I'm definitely taking the joint. I mean, it is what it is. But I don't be outside like that no way where I just be having like a plethora of partners. I don't do that. Yeah, but I feel like you'll feel like the green light to have a plethora. No, no, no. I mean, like you said, like, like you you said, like, I mean, them diseases still real. So, like, niggas. And the older I get, like, I don't want a bunch of women for real. I'm cool with just, like, if I had just more than two. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly what I was going to say. So, <laughs> hello, hello. Would you, would you make whoever you're dealing with get the birth control? No, I wouldn't make someone do something that I wouldn't do. Mm, that's real. Trey would, though, because you would make a woman get the birth control. No, she probably already on that bitch. But no. what if she say she's not, though? After one kid, he's going to be like, yeah, no, so once it's out. Uh, uh, I'm just where 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 I'm a wear a condom or pull out method, even though they're not 100, percent but shit, roll the dice. Roll the dice. Yeah. <laughs> Them dice ain't nothing to play with. Man, that's a real game. That's a horrible idea. <laughs> Yikes. That's a horrible idea. Y'all think y'all think there's gonna be less babies once they come out? Like there's gonna be less babies being made just in general. Hmm. You know, a lot of babies is made on that. Yeah, show. yeah. Most of them, I would assume. Maybe it might, you know, no, niggas, because niggas is still ain't shit. Women be going through like this, like random phases of wanting to have a baby. So when they're wanting to have a baby, they know what they need to do to make sure and they get that it, baby. It, 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 it's, it's, so. Also, it's the same shit. Motherfuckers know women who lied and be like, oh, they was on birth control, they'll still fuck around and had it. Done popped up with a baby and shit. Like the same shit could happen. Women doing it, niggas do this shit too. Oh, lying. Oh, don't don't worry. I'm on birth control and shit. Not in the girl, kid. Nine months later. Yikes. I don't know. I think men would do that a lot less though. Huh? I think men would do that a lot. No, less No, no, they. Women. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't do it. I, but you, we ain't all men. We don't know I what everybody would do. I think the only push for a man to get on birth control is a man who already has one or two children. Because what's the point of y'all being on birth control? Um, so I'm, I'm only saying this from the perspective is I know a lot of men that easily paying for that abortion. They gonna they gonna they gonna ship that money out and say hey no get an abortion. <laughs> they save money by getting birth control. Hmm. So I mean that's a that's a part of this. <laughs> So I mean, people be saying there was. I mean, everybody they not just saying but oh, just had a baby. They're not new to it. They true to it. So it really. I not mean, I don't see. I don't. I don't. I don't see niggas. Some niggas don't care because I don't see niggas who probably had like they don't care five six kids by mm-hmm. twenty two and shit. I haven't seen that mm-hmm. that often though. 
It don't be often, I but know. it's out there though. I've seen more that have just got the multiple abortions than I seen of that. I know one yeah. person with that many kids. Yeah, I know them both. I know a I'm lot familiar of familiar with them both. I know. I, I, I know. It do be more who's gonna pay for the I know abortion. More than four, two, yeah. the two hands. I, got. Yeah. I know more niggas than that that got multiple abortions than the pay. Yeah, for. yeah, that's. Okay, yeah. and those are the ones who are going to sign up for the birth control because why in the hell? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's just the lifestyle they live in. I don't yeah. know. What the hell? Russian roulette. Yeah, it's going to be me, you. Not me, it's not me, not me. Not me, You not like me. to roll the dice. No, I don't be rolling like that. <laughs> so I don't be, no, I don't, be, I don't be rolling like that. Like, you feel me? It just, this is a podcast perfect entertainment. Mm-hmm. I don't, you feel That's me? Bad. Safety first. Hey, man, get Safety that birth control, first. y'all. <laughs> or wear a condom. If y'all got the vaccine, get the birth control. Too. <laughs> if y'all got that vaccine, yeah. go ahead and get the shit. birth control for sure. If you got the vaccine, you yeah, might have yeah, it ain't no different after hey, that. At this point, but if yeah. God got you like God got me, I mean, you know, God likes to procreate. He gonna create some babies. How I many mean, kids you got? One. No, I was just asking. I, did, I don't know. <laughs> it literally was a genuine question. My bad. Do I look like I got multiple kids? You, I don't know what people with multiple kids look okay. like. But no, but speaking of like pregnancy stuff like that, y'all seen it was it was a rumor ended up be, but <laughs> um ASAP Rocky cheating on Rihanna. What do y'all think of men cheating on a pregnant woman? That's, a black man would never, would so that's crazy. That yeah, man. that was a rumor, of course. Yeah, I would leave that man, he would not be in my <laughs> delivery room and I'ma think about I'm probably hold the baby hostage for some time before I even let him see my baby. You got me fucked Women up. Women be on that. You I got me seen fucked happen. up. Why am I sitting here pregnant, risking my life to give birth to your child, and you're out here having fun, sticking your little dick in every bitch you see? No, because I could be out here having fun. Then do it. Right, which is why you ain't seeing my motherfucking baby. Until why did it have to go that deep? Because you got me fucked and up. And then all, <laughs> all the time, like, I mean, it's sometimes it might be okay because what he... Accidentally got a girl pregnant. They weren't really together. Now why he got? Why he got? Okay. St- yeah, he can't stop his. If if, fun. if oh. I'm the side chick, okay, I know what I signed up for. I'm pregnant. I know that he's got some other shit going on. Cool. But if you my nigga and we are committed and trust and we're bond and I am about to give birth to a child in which I'm sure you wanted more than I did. <laughs> I'll be damned. You not finna go get nobody else pregnant. You ain't finna be in nobody else. We're here for life. You got it? Is it <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so it's never a scenario where it could have been like... There is no scenario in which p- cheating is okay. Well, you don't even know what I was gonna say. I don't care. Mm. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm about to say. Okay, come on. Dang, I got a scenario that it doesn't involve cheating because black men don't cheat. It's hard for us to even understand. Yeah, I can't um, really comprehend okay. that shit. So it's no scenario where it's like... Say say you're the woman that's pregnant. And you give this man just a pass. Like just go ahead, go go ahead. Hmm. Or you might already been in an open relationship in the first place. Or you already in an open relationship. Hmm. That's a good one. Neither. But okay. but those things I'm do in happen. Neither situation. Okay, they might happen. For the but you dumb, just said you don't do the, relationships. For though. the dummy and the dumber, I that's fine for them. Whoa, they. I'm they, not getting involved in having a baby with anybody in which feels comfortable spreading their seed with everybody else. Just he, being he, out there. He's wearing a condom, know. so he ain't spreading no seeds. They get it. Yeah, they, yeah, they, 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 the seeds get it. Yeah, the seeds get it. Then how am I pregnant? He slipped up for yeah. that week. Okay, forgot. how many he, times? He, 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 he <laughs> no. missed the pill that one day. He ain't taking it at the right oh, time. Oh, no. That's not how birth control works, uh, first of all. You know the male one gonna be a shot or something. I don't know. But no, there's gotta be some scenario where it's like... It's, he gets a pass at some point. Like, if he's married, <clears throat> if he's and married, I'm the side pass? chick. What? Oh, okay, okay, okay. If he's well, married, yeah, automatic pass for sure. Okay, automatic. My so, bad because I shouldn't have been here in the first place. So who am I to even say? Or not even if married. If you just decide in whatever way, shape, or form, should you decide? And also, Stay I've in your had place. I've had some men come at me like, you know, whenever you're ready, like I just want to have a baby, blah blah blah. And I have considered. But that's no. So, that, that's um, so that's what I'm saying though, if there's the right situation where I know that this man wants this baby and he's gonna take care of the baby but we're not gonna be together, I might mm-hmm. sign up for it. Just because you know me, I don't like relationships, I'm not into it. But I might want the kid. Fine. You can go sleep with whoever you want to. You're not my nigga. Anyone who I consider is mine is mine. I'm not sharing for one single second, not a single second. Period. I mean, I guess that's that's, that's kind of fair as long as y'all <clears throat> spoke it, communicated like, yeah. that y'all are in a committed relationship. Hey, don't share, don't share, whatever. But 
it should not even have to be that deep of a conversation. What do you mean? Sometimes, you know I mean? That if you're dating what is, somebody and then you end up pregnant, that y'all not having conversations about like y'all future? No, you should already have the conversation. Okay. Part two on that. You, you're cut. Whoa, whoa! Well, yeah, I like it, just see the, hopefully, the, hopefully y'all it had depends that on the situation. No, 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 no. Just, hopefully y'all had that conversation before they was pregnant. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully. yeah, yeah. It'd be spoke like we weren't together. Oh, wow, we accidentally had a baby. I'm not gonna stop doing what I'm doing. No, y'all gotta rehab again. that conversation once she's pregnant. Then y'all gotta. But my, I'm not gonna also, stop though, fucking like, if we weren't together. Situation. If I'm not like you know we're t- we're not together and I get pregnant, I'm not keeping the baby. That's fair. Why would I but have a baby with Detroit, somebody? Who's I mean, not I'm not here. Uh, that happens though. Yeah. But it is it is another conversation though. First though, where it'd be like, so what you? I mean, what you want to do? Do we want to be committed? Do we want to keep moving? What do we want to do? It's not just a matter of one person just the guy just keep doing whatever they want. Like that's you can't just do that. You got to at least give her the right to like, okay, let's let's talk about this. <laughs> it depends on how I feel. If I like you, she like pregnant. That. It don't matter how you feel. You gotta <laughs> have that conversation <laughs> to start having sex with other people. Yeah, just in general, just a and general conversation. Like a woman being, you know, we'll converse about it for sure. She's real emotional at that. If I'm Super. pregnant and you cheat on me, or you go and do, you go do you, and you tell me to go do me, but I can't go do me because I'm eight and a half months pregnant with your little ratchet little seed. <laughs> oh hell no! She might shoot you. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. I mean, or just so like, I mean, I'm thirty, so I wouldn't do none of this, but. Okay. I don't know why you think being 30 makes you like above. Elite. No, it's not. I'm elite. just saying. No, it I makes you elite. No. 30 is oh, yeah. elite. Yeah. I'm okay. saying this. I guess I wouldn't know. Yeah. You wouldn't know. You I'm know saying yet. it because these, these are alternative like things people do. Don't mean I would do it, but niggas might do this you shit. You gotta stop with the disclaimer, man. Just say what it is. Stop with the disclaimers. God damn. I wouldn't do this, but nigga, just say what it is. So yeah, okay. You know the girl emotional whatever and shit. Okay, I won't fuck other women. I'm still fucking other women. And then you ain't seeing your baby. You ain't gonna know. And you ain't gonna know that nah, I know. You gotta, I mean, I st- I'm still... I'm gonna know. First of all, what y'all don't understand is Women she swear they know knows. everything. Yeah. She knows. I'm not saying don't she say knows. I'm saying keep it a buck. <laughs> she knows. It doesn't matter what you're hiding. She already knows and she's waiting for you to slip up so that yeah. she can say some shit. No, you still got to keep it a buck in that scenario and still be like, listen, I still want to be outside doing this. This True. is what I want to do. Okay. What are you, I mean, how are you feeling about that? What you want to do? But this is what I want to do. I want to be outside. I want to go do what I'm doing. I feel like if I was approached in that situation... And I wanted the baby, then I would be like, "That's cool. This is my baby, not your baby. You go Damn. do what you do, and I'm gonna go do what I do, and that's that." That's exactly how women be, and it'd be like, <laughs> "Yes, it'd be like, that's not what I said." Because no, because <laughs> they're, they're, and women. All I know is, all I hear is you saying is, "I don't want to be in a relationship." That's your baby. That's women, it. That's no, all I'm no, hearing. no. All I'm You're hearing. not hearing that. that. Shit. Women, okay. women. <laughs> Like women take shit too personally, which I understand. Okay, you're a pregnant. baby is very serious. Yes, that is no joke. Um, That's yeah, no game. No, but okay, even if okay. the dude, no wait, even the dude do have sex with other women, he's still gonna be with you all the time. He's still gonna go to the doctor's appointment. He's still gonna be is in the he? delivery room. Yes, and, and his bitch is gonna be okay with that. His bitches is gonna be okay. They don't with got that? a choice. Yeah, oh. they if if. If women are dealing with a dude, they know he got a baby on the way, they ain't got no choice but to deal but with it. That's what women do. Yeah. If I wanted the baby and in the situation where he's saying that he is going to be there for the child, I might agree to it. You're not important at this point. Only the kid is. Why? No, it's my body. I'll do whatever the fuck I want with this body. If I want to get yeah. rid of this baby, okay, it's get him right. No, that's it's up to the woman. Yeah, yeah. It's mine. No, no, that what part. No, about? no, that part different. But he I'm saying, he ain't been through enough pregnancy scares to understand. Yeah. Like, oh. you in this scenario, yeah. it ain't going. No, right. no, 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 yeah. Hey, what do you want? Whatever yeah. you, whatever you want to do, I gotta back it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't got nothing yeah. to decide. No, that's yeah. okay. Like, but I'm talking about <laughs> if you decide to keep it. Okay, that's cool, but if I want to fuck other women, that has nothing to do with me take care of the baby when it's born. And right, I'll still go to the doctor appointment. If you're telling me that, you know, you still want to go do you and you don't want to be with me, but you want the baby, and I say, okay, cool, we can have this baby, I would need some very much guarantee, some very much proof that you are going to be here to raise this child. Because raising a child by yourself is hard enough to do, but it's 
easier to do when you don't got to deal with no niggas drama. I feel you. How how will you get proof? I don't feel you. Why? Why don't I feel you? Yeah. Because you're predetermining that there's going to be drama. Because without knowing. it's only like known. It's like everywhere. No, you know, no that ain't. No, no, no. Yeah. Everywhere you look, every situation you see, I'm hearing <laughs> nothing but single mothers seeing single mothers and struggle. And right, if no, that's I'm not what going you just to said, be though. set up to struggle. I don't like you. Don't need. We're not gonna be together, and you ain't gonna be with my baby. It's my baby. And it's mine. To me, yeah. that's a crazy. That's a crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. But okay. some <laughs> single crazy. mothers are doing that. It's, it's it's a lot dudes who might be trapped, but a lot of women because of the situation. Oh, he ain't want to be with the mother, so they're like you ain't gonna see the child. Like that's it what is, you just said. Yeah, but I'm saying it's like it's. In multiple reasons why there's drama and shit. Like, it's not all on a nigga every time. That's what I'm just saying. If he was to be able to show me or prove to me that he's really, you know, wants this child and no matter if we're together or not, that he is going to be there, then fine. You do you, I'm going to do me. If you get mad that you pull up to bring me some Chipotle because that's what my pregnancy cravings want and I got a nigga chilling in here, you can't be mad. No, of course you can't. Yeah, no, no. But, But how can, but so my only thing is, how can you determine whether or not he's going to be there off of, just on an instance? It like would that? just depend on how he already treats me, just of on us just not even being together. So far, you that don't I've think been, that would change? Not so far that now that I'm pregnant, is he doing more than he was doing? Oh, okay. Is he showing me that this is what he wants? Also, it just depends on his actions. Also, mm. if 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 it, it's him and he's like. I'm not gonna do what I want. And I'm like, no, but okay. and this is this. Gonna say it. <laughs> it's, it's also this is a thing. If you dealing with a dude and he don't seem like the best nigga in the first place, and you fucking that nigga and then fuck around and have a baby by the nigga, but you already knew he wasn't a good nigga in the first place. No. Maybe you shouldn't have been fucking with a nigga in the first place, which a lot of people That's do why anyway. That's well, you shouldn't fuck with a nigga in the first place because babies happen on accident, like this situation. I mean, people fuck with who they fuck with. Yeah, I know, but. Okay, but you know you could be a trash ass nigga and still have money. And if you got money, I'm gonna be there. Yeah, so, people fuck with who they fuck with. I don't know. <laughs> I feel it. But women be like that, even with niggas that's not trash though. Some women do be on some bullshit. I'm not gonna bullshit no man. I that's why I'm saying if I got some guarantee, <laughs> then we cool. But, uh, but uh, uh, nah. it's rare. That you would like find that I get a lot of people I, I got a lot of girls a lot of women who tell me and compliment my relationship with my baby dad that I have and they're just like you know how 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 is this possible like my baby dad won't do this my baby dad won't do that and I'm like girl because I had to beat him violence never ends so I don't, I don't, you know yeah, never never violence no I'm just but. kidding but I did have to train him I mean but I don't know, know. Which I feel that, but it is it is some women that's just like, okay, you don't want to be with me, then it just is what it is. Regardless if you're good, whether if you're a good dude, a bad dude, or indifferent, they just like yes, those are the cool. women. And also, like, it really depends too on your stance of like pro life and not. Me, this is my body, my choice. If I don't like you, I don't like this baby. Pro choice is always. Which a good I mean, thing. I, I agree with that. You know, make your pro own choice, decision. Yeah, your body, your but rules. But if you keep it, understand that. If I keep it, and he was a trash nigga. Why does he deserve to still be in my child's life? Just explain that to me. If, if he is child, trash, not you. Yeah, I, I, that's an easy explanation for me, just because. But what if I have a better nigga that's in my life that's going to be a better father? You might, but, have... you, but you're not. You and him are not, are not going to be together. So that that other figure could still be a father figure, but the biological father is still the biological father. He yeah, deserves he right deny, right yeah, he shouldn't deny. Yeah, he shouldn't deny the kid of his kid. actual father because it's still different from when a person. Get raised by someone who raised their bloodline post to another nigga. Then you just cut I that nigga, so. cut that nigga out completely. He's still gonna be the back of the kid. Mine, well, damn, where where my real dad at? Motherfuckers gonna question figure. this shit regardless. A father, it can, they can question, it. and if they have questions, I got answers. And if they yeah. want to explore that, then I will help them explore that. Well, it's not they do. However, there are plenty of men who are perfectly fine raising another child and being that father and being a good absolutely. father yeah, and that child I, I just, looks at that man as their father. Absolutely, but that's yeah. not what I'm saying though. I'm saying if, if, as a biological father, they would have they should have the right to be a part of their biological kid's life. Yeah, it shouldn't just cut general. them out. Yeah, just shouldn't cut them out first quarter just because of that's your own personal feeling. That's all I'm saying too. Just because your own personal feeling, oh he tried nigga, didn't nigga better, uh, I'm gonna do that. But and And you don't know at the end of the day, you don't. If, even if this other figure, you know, does a great job, 
this is what the kid knows. You don't know eventually as a kid grows older if they ever become curious on, hmm, I wonder what my actual father is like. They will come, become curious. And like I said, if they have questions, I have answers. Like, I'm not going to withhold. If the kid is curious and he, they want to know who their real father is or their, you know, father's family, mm -hmm. I will go through the journey with them to meet them, that's to know oh, them. That's another aspect of and yeah, that's a good one. That, that's fine. Right. However, when starting out, if I know you are a trash nigga, I know that I'm going to be doing this 90% on my own. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to deal with you. I'm not going to look you at should. you. I'm not gonna. No, this is sure. my child. Yeah. If I gotta do it on my own, then I'm gonna do it all the way on my own. And people, and people, some people change. Like they might mature in a couple months, over the years, and you don't allow him to even just explore the option to let him try. If if you let him be in the kid life and okay. shit, and then he choose not to and be a child nigga, that different. Let me say this. Belly get nigga chance. If right in the beginning he's like, I want to be outside, and you know, if you want to have this baby, you can, but I'm, I'm just trying to do me. Then that, to me, registers as this is my baby and only my baby. However, if he's like, I want to be outside, I want you to keep the baby because I always wanted a baby and I wanted to, mm -hmm. you know, I want to experience that, then that's different. That's situational, and I'm like, okay, so... What if the third scenario is he says, I want to be outside, but whatever you decide, I'm okay with? Then that's my baby. Comprehension skills is crazy. Even though he's saying he's saying whatever which way you decide, you know I'm I'm gonna support you whichever but way. Whichever way, but he ain't. Did he say you gonna support me? Because I didn't hear that. Well, that's. I, feel like <laughs> I didn't hear that. It's always a specific word. Like, I didn't hear right, that. Right, right. It's do take the specific <laughs> words. Yeah. Well, and then what about just the last last scenario? What about um the biological father's family? That's different. I I can cut off the nigga, but if their family wants to be there from the start and they know about it, then I don't have a problem with building a relationship with their family. If their family's not going to be trash like the daddy, then that's fine. That's fair. Mm -hmm. That's fair. As long as he still see that side of the family, that's important. Yeah. That's important. I could deal with that. Yeah, there's a lot of copy yesterday. I mean, man. You know, it's a lot of copy yesterday. Man. Kids are a lot. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram. Male birth control. <laughs> but Majesty. All... Go ahead. Queen. Shout out your Instagram. Majesty, your queen, duh. Huh? Well, we appreciate you, <laughs> Majesty, for coming through. But the, uh, we got to retoast again because oh, we got to all remember that black men don't cheat. This has been Gospel, the wholesome podcast. We appreciate Queen Wavy Trey, wholesome B Mitch. Can't believe you guys made me cheer.